Hello everybody, welcome to Joe's Wild Side Adventures. This week we're going to be coming to you from the Belize River Lodge in Belize City in Central America. And my hosts Raul and Nato are going to be our guides for the week. We're going to have a great time. I was here last year and Raul, it's good to see you again, buddy. Good to see you, my friend. And Nato, I, it's the first time I got to meet you, so I'm really looking forward to fishing with you guys. So tell us what we're going to do this week. Well, you know, in a period of six days, like what we're going to be fishing at, you know, it, there's a possibility that, you know, the weather is going to vary as the week goes by. So normally, you know, on any given day, I would usually, you know, wake up in the morning, get in the skiff, come out here and take a look and see what the weather is like. And from there, I'll let you know, well, you know, today's a good day for bonefish or permit or tarpon. But typically, you know, on any sunny day with not a lot of wind, we normally would fish the flats. We would come out here, you know, with a nice sun at our back, you know, drift on wind and look for either permit, tarpon, or bonefish, you know. Whenever, you know, the occasion arises that, you know, unfortunately it gets cloudy, like a day like today, you know, then that's when our fishing of the flats gets pretty limited. We got to fish the edges of the mangrove and, you know, where we have a little better visibility. Get on the leeward side of the islands and fish for baby tarpon and snook, actually. Good. So, it's always somewhere to fish whenever the weather, you know, turns out the way it is right now. That's one thing nice about coming to Belize. Uh, a lot of fly fishermen specialize in either bonefish or tarpon, but, but here you can get all four species in the same day, and that's the major objective uh, of any fly fisherman is to try to get the super grand slam, which is that's... all four. So, uh, so what do you think? What are we going to do today, right now? Well, right now, <clears throat> we're going to drift along the edges of this mangrove. We're going to take a few shots, a couple blind shots along in some of these pockets and see if we can hook into a, a snook or a small tarpon. Generally, that's what we'll find in, in areas like this, you know. You know, baby tarpon anywhere between 10 to maybe 20 pounds mm -hmm. and snook anywhere between four pounds to 10 pounds, you know. Yeah, they're nice. I, yeah. All, all the species are fun to catch. My goal this week, though, is to hook onto a 100-pound tarpon. That That has been one of my dreams, and to get a shot at a permit would be awesome, but to me, that's a bonus, I would well, say. Well, that's why in one of our logos, we say, Belize River Lodge, where dreams come true. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, stay tuned, folks. When we come back with Joe's Wild Side Adventures, we're going to be doing some flats fishing in Belize City, Belize, in Central America. So, Raul, we're gonna fish these little flats over here. What are we gonna use for a fly here? What's your favorite for the snook? Well, leftist deceiver is one of the patterns that works best for snook here. Or at least for me, I should say. Okay. <laughs> you know, and this color right here, which is blue and white, is my favorite color. Probably I've caught more snook with this fly because this is the one I've used the most, but I love this color. <laughs> so that's the one you don't want me to lose. Yeah. <laughs> you know, okay. The more fish it catches, the more expensive this fly can get. <laughs> well, let's see if it works. Let's see if it does. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Keep him out of the mangroves. I guess that's the idea, huh? They'll wrap around those roots and see you later. Well, that didn't take long, did it? He thinks he's a tarpon. Well, he's about ready to get, oh, that's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Come on, buddy, just hang on a couple more minutes. That fly just hanging right in the corner of his lip. Oh, he's going under the motor, under the boat. Come on, pal, come on, don't spit it now. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Barely hanging on, barely hanging on. Come on, get in, get in, all right. <laughs> How about that for a start? There you go, good job. Look at that fish. Get the hook. Look at that. That hook wasn't, it was laying right there. He's got some muscle to him. Beautiful snook. We want to get him back in the water. We don't want to kill these fish. So we took a few pictures and we're going to let him go. There, there he goes. goes. Put it again closer to him. Just pick it up and put it closer to him, to his left. Strip, 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 strip. Got him. Hold oh, it. He banged that. Okay. Wow! Easy, start stripping if he's not okay. I got him. I got him. Just want to keep oh. him out of the... Wow, is that uh, a nice Don't let fit. him take you in there. Don't let him take you in there. Try 
to keep him out of those mangroves. Man, did he hit that like a ton of bricks. I basically hit him on the forehead with that cast. Yep. Get away from these mangroves. He's trying to go deep. Hold on. Oh, he wants to go. He wants to go in those mangroves so bad. Yeah. That was close. Pull him to the left, to the left, sideways. Sideways, hard to your left. Palm the reel, if anything. Yes. Oh, man, he's a fighter. He is trying desperately to get me in those mangroves and cut me off. Okay, up, Look at that big head. red mouth. Whoa! Get in Oh, man! Oh, baby! Look how red his mouth is. That's from being... What's that, rubbing on the bottom and feeding? No, I don't think so. I think it's from the pain he's feeling. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Yeah. That's a 10 pounder there. Yep. It looks like about a 10 pounder. Oh, oh, I'll hold the net. Mm -hmm. Good hook oh, set. Man, man, look at that fish. Woohoo! How nice. about that? The Belize River Lodge, man, you gotta check this out. Good job, Joe. That is a beautiful snook. You wanna hold him up? Yeah. You gotta get a picture with this one. That's a monster. <laughs> hey folks, snook. stay tuned to Joe's Wild Side Adventures. We come back more of this beautiful snook fishing from Belize River Lodge, Belize City, Central America. You can see them? Nope. They're right there. Go to a little more to your right. Just about 20, 30 feet right there, yeah, just on the right edge of that hole. Good. Wait. Strip. Strip, 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 strip. Got him, strip, strip. Got him. The little guy took the bigger ones are sitting right there. He's not a bad fish. No, but the ones are bigger over there. <laughs> That's <laughs> all right, we'll get them next. I don't wanna bring him in quick because the others are sitting right there. Just kidding, take your time. Take your time and enjoy it. Ooh, oh, nice. beautiful. Nice, look. Beautiful. Ooh, yeah. You can ease him a little, yeah? Oh, is that beautiful? Yes. But the others over there look beautifuler. <laughs> beautifuler. <laughs> I can't even say that. How did you say that? Beautifuler. Beautifuler. <laughs> look at him dancing. Yeah. That's the most acrobatic snook I've seen. You showed off enough for the camera, Mr. Snook. Let's get in here. There's tarpon out there. Let's see if we can get him over here. Look at that, gorgeous Snook. We're gonna let him back. Okay, buddy. School of tarpon is coming, man. Throw that crab, put the crab there. Right line? Yeah. Strip, strip, strip. Slowly down. Strip, 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 strip. Strip, 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 strip. Strip, strip. Set the hook. Got him. Got him set, set it again. I got him set. Set it again. Okay, he's gonna jump. Watch it when he jump. Move your right to the left. He's gonna jump. Good, good. Pull it good. to the left. Remember when he jumps the bow? Yep. Drop it. To your left. We've been following this group of tarpon for an hour. Nice. Yeah, Michael nice. Michael Jordan tarpon. These little tarpon are so much fun to catch. Little 15 pounds. I think there were some bigger ones in the school, but yeah. for some reason you got an eye for these little guys. <laughs> Be careful, he's gonna jump. Ooh, beautiful. Ah, that's pretty. That is pretty, man. That is pretty to see that. Acrobats. Come on, pal. Oh, he wants to go deep. Ooh, nice, 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 Bow nice. Bow to the king, huh, Raul? Huh? Bow to the king is right. Okay. Okay, hang on. The silver king. That's right, man. You're doing good, Joe. Bring in a little more line. Okay. Up. And here we go! Oh, how about nice. that, folks? <laughs> he doesn't like that net, does he? No, I guess he does not. Does not like that net. Okay. 
Look at that. Beautiful. Ah, mwah. Look at that little tarp in here. Look at his little flipper over there. Beautiful. Hey. Let him go. You can let him go now. All right. Okay, we got uh, some really nice snook this morning, and we got a tarpon in, and I had about five hookups with the tarpon. Uh, so Raul suggested that we try for the Super Grand Slam. Uh, we're in this area right now. I just threw it a couple bonefish before we even had a chance to get the camera set up. They're in here, so we're gonna try to pick up a bonefish real quick, and then we'll have the rest of the afternoon to try to get a, uh, a permit. If we catch a bone and we don't catch a permit, we are still Backcountry slam. Right. Backcountry slam. We're still in the backcountry slam category. <laughs> Put it to the left. Right on the on the, on the white on the white sand. Longer though, longer though, short. Quick. Here he comes. Good. Got him. Good one. Got him hooked. Here's another. Nice. <laughs> there goes everybody. Bye. See you next year. <laughs> got my bonefish hooked. Now we just got to get him in the boat. And I leave that all up to you, Joe. <laughs> I don't want to say anything yet. These bonefish are so much fun to catch. Oh, he's nice. Look at him. Move to your left. He's to your left. nice. Don't break me off, pal. Come on, you're gonna be a movie star. What did you say? Come on, break me off? I said, don't break oh. me off. <laughs> Nose up, buddy. Nose up. To your right, to your right. Yeah. Let him fight to your right, to your right, just like that. Beautiful. Nicely done. Strong and dirty. It's not done yet. When he's in the cord, it'll be done. Let's get his nose up. Oh, oh is that a brief? Beautiful bone fish. Come on, buddy, let's go surfing right into the net. Let's go surfing right into the net. They told me the little head, the little head, the little head. All right. <laughs> Good one. That's a backcountry slam. There you go. All right. There he is, part three of our super grand slam. So far, we have a snook, tarpon, and this beautiful bonefish. Well, guys, what a first day. Yep. Unbelievable. What do you think, Nato? That's a, it was four, four snook in the boat, five jumps on tarpon, a bonefish in the boat. So we got our backcountry slam, had an opportunity at, at some permit, but I just couldn't see them in the water, couldn't figure out where to cast to them, and they're so spooky. Yep, that's right. You don't get your uh, fly right on them, and it's gonna be difficult. Those are the most elusive fish that exists in this on these flats, you know? Well, so, well, hopefully we got all week to get one. That's right. And uh, we'll give it our best shot. The week is still young yet. That's right. We've got that's five right. days ahead of us. A lot of time. A lot, a lot of, of time. time. And hopefully the sun stays nice and bright like this. Yep. And we'll be in good shape. Great, great. Well, thanks again, guys, for a wonderful day out there. Backcountry slam for my first day. I can't get any better than that, except for a super grand slam. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Make sure you stay tuned for Cooking on the Wild Side. And stay tuned with Joe's Wild Side Adventures. We're going to bring you a two- or three-part series here from Belize. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cooking on the Wild Side with Joe Rossi. We have a special treat for you. We're down here at the Belize River Lodge in Belize, Central America, staying at the lodge and eating our meals here. And I want to introduce you before I get started to the fine staff here at the kitchen. We have Aretha, Hi. Yvette, Hi. Tiffany, Hi. and Candy. And they have been providing some wonderful meals this week. And we're going to have a little bit of fun today because we're going to cook some things together. And I'm going to make a couple of snook dishes that we just caught yesterday and the day before. So stay tuned. When Cooking on the Wild Side returns, we'll be at the Belize River Lodge in Belize, Central America. Uh, today we're going to feature a snook in a green sauce. And my green sauce consists of garlic, jalapeno peppers, white onion, fresh parsley, a little bit of flour, some black pepper, some salt, some olive oil, some white wine, 
and some chicken stock. And the first thing we're going to add is some fresh chopped garlic, our white onion, and some fresh chopped jalapeno peppers. And the reason this is called a salsa verde is with a combination of the jalapeno peppers and the fresh parsley that we're gonna add a little bit later, it's gonna turn the sauce a nice green color. And we're actually gonna cook our fresh snook right in this sauce. And we can put a little salt and pepper. We're gonna stir these veggies around. Get them nice and soft. Okay, looks like our vegetables are nice and soft and we're ready to move on. And what I like to do now is add a couple tablespoons of flour and we're almost gonna make a roux out of this. So we wanna mix the flour in now. If you put the flour in later, when you have your chicken stock in there, it tends to get lumpy. So we put the flour in now and we're gonna mix it in with these vegetables and it'll blend real nice. So you can see it's already working and starting to caramelize a little bit. These vegetables are browning real nice. Okay, so now we're gonna put our chicken stock in here. And keep stirring the vegetables. And I'm also gonna add my white wine right now. And then finally, we're gonna add our fresh parsley. And this is what gives the sauce a really nice green color. We're gonna let this come to a boil and then we'll be ready to put our fresh snook in here and we'll cook our snook right in the sauce. Okay, we have our sauce. You can see how nice the green color came out with from the parsley and the jalapenos. So we're ready to add our fresh snook. And this snook is gonna cook about four to five minutes on each side. And you can see these fillets are nice and thick. So we're probably gonna need every bit of five minutes on each side for these. Now what Aretha did for me earlier is she prepared a pot of rice for me. And the rice is gonna be the bed for our snook. Okay, we've had these uh, fillets in here for approximately five minutes. So we're gonna flip them. Okay, and we'll let that go for another four to five minutes. And our snook and salsa verde ought to be finished. Okay, looks like our snook is ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some rice. I'm gonna make a nice little bed here. And we're gonna get our snook filet. And you can see how it just falls apart. It's so fresh and so tender. And then what you want to do is you want to get your sauce and just cover the top and let your sauce work right into the rice. So there you have it, snook and salsa verde. So thanks for watching Cooking on the Wild Side. We'll see you next time. Bon appetit.